Yes, but it could be a booster rocket for next Tuesday's turnout. Former President Donald Trump's not on the 2022 Ohio ballot, but his presence looms over the five candidate GOP Senate primary. We're winning the race right now. Let me just be direct, okay? The venture capitalist and celebrity author who won Trump's endorsement started a three city swing in Anderson Township this morning. A new Fox News poll has J.D. Vance five points ahead of Josh Mandel, who will stump with Senator Ted Cruz this weekend. Like Vance, Mandel, Mike Gibbons, and Jane Timpkin have portrayed themselves as the one true Trump conservative. Matt Dolan has tried to stay above the endorsement phrase, saying he's focused on what's best for Ohio. Pundits are watching this state to see if Trump's influence is at stake in a state he handily won twice. No one knows what the full impact of the Vance endorsement will be, including Jim Renacci, who's trying to upset Governor Mike DeWine. The one thing I do believe is it's going to turn out the anti-Vance uh, vote. Uh, there are a lot of people as I travel the state uh, that are not happy with that endorsement. The same Fox News poll that now has Vance leading the field shows 25% of likely Republican voters undecided with less than a week left. Those are the people that I think are going to turn out. And hopefully those are also the anti-DeWine uh, voters as well. Statewide numbers indicate more Republicans than Democrats are asking for ballots and voting early. It's not known if that's a factor of the Trump endorsement, but his persuasive power will be tested May 3rd when Vance finds out if this line will fly. I didn't like Donald Trump in 2016. I was very happy to be proven wrong. Someone asked Vance today who he liked in the governor's race and he meandered all over the place saying he kind of liked Renacci, kind of liked Blystone and liked some things about DeWine but hasn't followed it closely and like many of his fellow Republicans probably wouldn't decide until election day. John London, WWT News 5. All right, John, thanks so much. Well, in Hamilton County, you can vote early the rest of the week.